There's a good morning to you. God is good. Poverty or riches? Which one you want? Poverty or riches? Strange question. Uh, Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 7 says, Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Uh, lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. The two extremes, poverty or riches, the two extremes are being spoken of here. Uh, I wanted to be rich when I was younger, you know. Uh, but notice that a lot of rich people, they live reckless lives and they do not even include God in the picture. Uh, then I notice that some poor people, all they do is badmouth the rich people. And sometimes they talk ill things about rich people. Sometimes they say how the rich people get the money uh, by devious means. And many times it is not true. So Solomon is speaking about the two extremes, poor or rich. Uh, he is saying uh, that when you rich, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes you will forget God. But let me point out something here. I'm not preaching a poverty gospel. Abraham was rich, but he didn't forget God. He ordered or commanded his household uh, based on principles of God. And then Job was rich. And Satan thought that because Job was rich, that's the reason why he was serving God. But nothing so. Uh, when his riches, his wealth, everything was taken away. That's an example for us, you know. Uh, Job still worship God. So I am not presenting here and saying a Christian must try to be poor. No, 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 no. No, I'm not saying that. If God gives you an opportunity to be rich, go ahead. But remember, uh, when you get riches, you must not forget God, include God in the picture. Uh, further, you must see riches as a tool from God to help to carry the message of salvation and also to alleviate suffering humanity. Uh, what about poverty? Listen, <laughs> uh, when individuals are poor, but let me talk about myself. I have been poor, don't have enough money to go to school sometimes. And sometimes I'm hungry and don't have money to buy food as I want. In those times, you can be tempted to steal. But listen to this, I didn't steal. Instead, I asked a favor of individuals. And when I was going to school, secondary school, and sometimes I don't have money, God gave me wisdom to do things, to earn money instead of stealing. But yet at the same time, there are category of individuals, when they're hungry, they're going to steal to satisfy their hunger. I pity such persons. Now, in terms of growing up and training your children, let them know that even though they are poor, they must make sure they do not do things of a derogatory or sinful nature to get money. That's a temptation to school children too, you know. I want a cell phone, somebody offered to get a cell phone for me, but I got to do something sinful in order to get that cell phone. Look at your children, look at what they bring home and question them. And if you didn't purchase it or they cannot account for it, you need to make sure you deal with them. Sometimes you need to make sure, right, uh, that you find out what is the source and return it because at the end of the day, that text points out that, listen, the two extremes are a problem. Teach your children that there's dignity in labor. Uh, so as I complete today, poverty or riches, for me, none of the two. None of the two. Uh, and for me, I am sensing that God, as he blesses me, I need to always understand that riches or wealth needs to be used to do God's work and to help to alleviate suffering humanity. Our God and Father, thank you so much for your goodness to us. Thanks for your blessings. 
lead out to me and help that those who are listening to me would not be tempted to do terrible, sinful things in order to get riches. Help them to be honest in getting wealth. Guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God richly bless you. Sweet.